Okay, let's take a walk around this uh, M registration. So it's what, 1973, 74, um, Land Rover Series 3, 88 inch short wheelbase, hard top. Been refinished in, uh, in green, rather vivid green, shall we say. Originally it was um, limestone green. Um, fitted with uh, a really nice set of um, Weller eight spoke um, steel wheels with a matching set of uh, combination 16 inch uh, tyres on. It's got front lamp guards, it's got bonnet, uh, the, the mount for the bonnet, for the, for the mount for the spare wheel on the bonnet. Um, <coughs> didn't come with a spare wheel, but we will supply uh, a 16 inch uh, spare to go with it. It won't be a Weller 8 spoke though, but it will be a, um, uh, a 16 incher. Um, what else it got on it? It's got tow bar. Uh, it's also got what looks like a very new cross member on the back. That um, engine noise you can hear isn't this, it's the, uh, no, the truck next door, which uh, it's not this is making a horrible noise. This is switched off. Um, yeah, it's got tow pack, but that really is about it. Um, seen a bit of life this one, it's a few a bit sort of battered here and there, uh, but I did uh, over 80 miles on it yesterday. It uh, drove really, really well. Um, it's just recently been MOT'd. We'll go around in a bit more detail and pick out the uh, the good bits and bad bits. So it has been refinished in um, um, in this sort of bright green colour. Um, it's been done by hand. Could have been a better job, but uh, um, you know it covers it basically. Um, sounds like the gearbox on that truck is knackered next to us. Um, all right, all right around the front. It's all all good round here. It's got the lamp guards on it, as I say. Bonnet is uh, is all there. It's it's had these um, it's the rubber clips on there at some point, but obviously they've been taken off. Not necessary because the bonnet doesn't lift or anything like that. Um, unpleasantly. Um, looking down the near side, it's got the usual Land Rover wavy panels. The near side front wing is especially a bit uh, sort of wavy round here. Um, the modesty cover on the near side is a bit wavy down the bottom of the door there. Um, we'll come up to the rest. Bulkhead of the scuttle panel rather on the near side all looks pretty good and solid around here. That's all quite nice. No problems there. Screen's good. Roof is good. Door top fits nicely on the near side. Slightly dented um, barrel side just here as always. Um, and there's a longer sort of um, depression in the uh, in the alloy just between sort of there and there on the near side door. Um, quick look inside it. Bloody noise. Sorry about this. Um, Interior could do with a damn good clean and valet, really, if that's your sort of thing. It's been fitted with uh, the passenger seat from uh, another car. Looks like possibly a Volvo one, I'm not sure. Um, passenger seat to give it extra height, because I think the people we got it from, the uh, um, chap's wife was uh, really rather short, so that's raised that up. But um, you might want to put an original seat back in it. Um, the middle seat is the original type. The driver's seat has come out of a later one, uh, but it is Land Rover. Um, but interior-wise, there's not much else to... Uh, to say about it. Um, on the near side rear wing um, we've got a couple of uh, dents, just one there, one there, sort of minor minor nicks in it. Um, around the tail end tailgate could fit better, should we say. Perhaps the lock needs a bit of adjustment there. Um, and it's got the holes in the back there for the rear mounted spare wheel carrier. In the back it's got a double bench seat on the left hand side here, um, so it needs a clean, but uh, no more than that really. Um, it's all good apart from that. Um, all around the tail there it's all very very good on the driver's side, so it does look as if it's got a new cross member on it. Um, looking down the offside, once again a bit wavy, uh, offside rear wing is pretty good. There's a very slight sort of waviness and depression just around, uh, um, around the offside rear valance area. Uh, but apart from that, it's good. The modesty cover, once again, on the offside is a bit crinkled. Um, and driver's door. The driver's door top really is on the point of needing replacing. It's, um, it's got a bit floppy on the, the lower edge here. So really, that's, um, that would benefit at some point. It's, it's seen better days, should we say. Um, Driver's door, 
slight depression just down here, just down the bottom of the uh, of the skin. Um, so I'm rather distracted by that truck, I'm afraid. Um, and there's a few scratches and stuff on the driver's door, but no more than that. Offside front wing uh, is probably the, the sort of the worst crinkled area, shall we say? It's a bit sort of wavy and crinkly around here, and it's very wavy and crinkly around here, around the uh, the front offside corner. It's obviously sort of uh, someone's amateur. She tried to beat out a dent or something at some point, just down there, um, a little dent just up there. Um, scuttle panel on the offside. It's obviously uh, uh, had a bit of um, attention, shall we say, just here, but it all looks to be pretty solid. Um, not sure what that is there, but the rest of it all looks pretty solid all round. Um, and we'll say interior-wise on the uh, on the driver's side, it's got a different steering wheel in it, but it actually suits the car and actually it feels quite nice. One thing this one has got is a superbly working heater. It's really, really hot. Um, lovely inside. This is like toast. Um, that's about it, really. It's a, it's a serviceable Landy. Um, does the job, drives nicely. Um, MOT till September 2010. Uh, good set of um, combination off-road wheels and tyres on it. Not much more I can say about it, really. My name's Simon. You can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352 or you can go to our website, which is www.motodrome.co.uk. End.